Alright, finally the neutral the neutrals. This is where the fun begins. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Alright, neutrals. Get the easy ones out of the ways. Harbinger Celestia. Four mana five six. Say it with me, chat, on the count of five. Everyone type the number for this card, the rating, one out of five. All right. Three. Two. One. Which is coincidentally the same number as this rating. Oh my god, this card. You can see the potential. It's a minion that punishes you for not playing a minion. And it punishes you if your only minions are big minions. Because if you don't play a minion, you get a 4 mana 5 6, which is good stats. If you do play a big minion, it copies it. So your opponent gets a big minion. But. Isn't it just a 4 mana mirror entity in most cases that's telegraphed? Yeah. So you can see what decks this is good against. I don't think it's popular enough to warrant something like this. Ziliax, 5 mana 3, 2, Magnetic, Divine Shield, Taunt, Lifesteal, and Rush. A little expensive for my taste. But I think the effect is super good. It's just an all around good card. The question is 5 or 4. 5 because I think any deck with some mech will run it. Four because I think any deck could make use of it and won't be too sad. Hmm. Oh yeah, it makes corpse taker nice too. Um four point five. Whizbanger. Whizbang the Wonderful, 4 mana 4 5. You start the game with one on Whizbang's deck, which is a pre made deck by Blizzard. I like it. Competitive viability, no one will ever put this in constructed, but free to play, by the way, players experiencing new decks. Design. It's a 5 out of 5 for me. I like seeing cards like this. I would like to see more cards like this. But to be clear, never put this deck in anything. This is the worst card you can put in a deck. Because this card by itself ruins your deck. Mechathune, oh man. Alright chat, everyone take one minute and come up with your Mechathune OTK combo. It might be an Innovate Naturalize, it might be Myra's Unstable Crystal to Insta Mill, it might be Paladin Crystal cost swapping, Warlock Cataclysm. Take a minute, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna list all the ways we're gonna trigger Mechathune. Man. What strategy have we came up with to dominate the meta with Mechathune? Alright, I'm gonna instantly disqualify anyone who says Deathwing. If you said if Deathwing if you said Deathwing at any point of your plan, you already messed up your plan. So everyone who said Deathwing, you're fired. Next. Anyone who said Necrum Blade, the three mana rogue weapon, you all are fired as well. Because you triggered the death rattle, but Mechatune is still on the board. So pack your stuff. 
We don't want you here. All right. Anyone else? Tell us I have a family and kids I need to feed. Well, you should have thought about that before suggesting the wrong play. And you shouldn't have spent all that money on Hearthstone packs. You didn't need that mecha, Jaraxxus. You didn't need it. Tell us what about Vivid Nightmare and Spirit Lash? That doesn't kill the 1010 Mecha Cthulhu. You are fired too, sir. Thor Sand, Drakari into Mecha Cthulhu and Cataclysm. That is a wild combo. You are fired as well. Tell us what about Angoro into Skull King, guys. Okay, okay. Now that does destroy your deck. But how do you make sure you trigger Mecha Cthulhu on the same turn before your opponent silence or polymorph it? Innovate Naturalize. I think that's the most straightforward combo. Um, your last three card is Mechathune, Innovate, and Naturalize. That's very like... End of the line, your only play combo. But it will work. <coughs> Someone said something about like... um. Oh, right. I remember now. Here's what you do. You play Treachery with Dragon Hoarder. You Dragon Slayer on said Dragon Hoarder. You get two coins. You play a 10 mana Cthulhu. You double coin. You play Blood Bloom into Cataclysm. Because you can also play two Galvanizer. That is true too. Two Galvanizer. Works as well. Probably way less painful. <laughs> Galvanizer, Blood Bloom, Cataclysm. You just gotta make sure you have an empty deck. Okay. Toes, play Hemet, then play Flopadina's Floop. And kill it with Starfall. So you mean play Hemet and then play Mechathune. Have it die. And then play 4 mana Mechathune. And then kill it. Mm, okay. What about the Priest card that makes Death Rattle cost less at the end of your turn? But you need it to survive. We want combos where it doesn't require keeping a minion on the board. So like the galvanizer combo, you don't need to keep a minion on the board. So it's hard to interrupt. Someone just said the word assassinate. Nothing else, they just typed the word assassinate. I can't do much with that, sir. But yes, assassinate. I'm pretty sure assassinate destroys. Does th assassinate destroy enemy minions only? Assassinate Hearthstone. This assassinate only destroys enemy minions only. So even then, good sir. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's hard to pull off the combo in one turn. I think Warlock has the highest way to do it because they can destroy their hand and destroy the board at the same time. with Cataclysm, and no other class have a card that does so much. Tell us Twilight Call, Shadow Word, Pain. Hmm. It leaves it susceptible to Polymorph, but not Silence. Anything involving playing a 10 mana 10-10 for an entire turn is rough. 
the warlock plan doesn't force you to have. I think warlock has the highest chance with galvanizer. So the turn before you go for the combo, you drop two galvanizer. That's only four mana. Toast Eureka coin volcano. All right, that guy is fired because Eureka doesn't pull the minion from your hand onto your deck. So under that play, you'd kill your Mechatune, but guess what? You have a Mechatune in your hand. Also, there can't be more than 5 health minions on the board if you want 10 damage to go to Volcano. <laughs> Hunter Legendary Spell. Hunter Legendary Spell requires you to only have Mechatune. As your final card. And the card in your hand to be the final card. Yeah. Looking at all of this, I think um, the best one we can come up with is Galvanizer combo. So it's a... Uh, Two Galvanizers, one Mechathune, one Blood Bloom, and one Cataclysm. A five card combo. Two of which requires you to have Mechathune ahead of time. Before you can play it. As a Warlock, your benefit is you can tap. Tap, tap, tap. And I think they're all even cards, right? Yeah, they're actually all even cards too. So you can tap, 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 tap. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Toast, you can EMP operative your own Mechatune to destroy it, and then your EMP operative would be alive. Yeah, it's tough to remember that not only does Mechatune have to die, the board has to be empty when it dies. We will see a lot of clips and videos of people. <laughs> trying to pull off this combo and then mess up somewhere. They either drew an extra card or they shuffled a the card or there's an extra minion on the board. There's so much ways to mess up. And we'll probably see it. Yeah. Cool. We will attempt to galvanize a combo. I think it's the most consistent one. I think it's the easiest one to pull off without requiring your opponent to leave up a minion. This card is garbage. Subject not. Okay, look. It's 5 out of 5 for hilarity. It's 0 out of 5 for... Realism. It'll be great when it happens and everyone will freak out. It's just not gonna happen often enough. And only to decks that are completely based around doing it. <laughs> we'll pull it off day one, no question. The first deck I'm going to play is Mechatoon. Okay, um, subject 9, 5 mana, 4, 4, draw 5 different secrets from your deck. I like it. Very good with Spellstone secrets like Hunter, especially Hunter. Only Hunter, Spellstone secrets. Uh, when you remember a card like Azure Drake, which was 5 mana, 4, 4, draw a card with spell power. This is 5 mana 4 4, potentially draw up to 5. You probably won't run that much secrets, but I think it's Bonkers and Hunter. They should just make this border green and say it's a Hunter Legendary. It's also a beast, too. Um, it's a 4 out of 5. The only thing keeping from a 5 out of 5 is not every class run it. Although you could argue it's a 5 out of 5 for classes that would run it. But, you know. I think it's really up there. I think Hunter will 100% enjoy it. 
Omega Low Defender. This is the old art, they changed it. Because this one was too confusing. You see this art? It's like, oh yeah, it's a mech. It's a giant robot. But they changed the art for Omega Defender. Actually, I should just use the new art. New art, new art, new art, new art. Yes, it's very confusing. I'm like, oh my god, look at that mech. Oh wait, it's not a mech. It's the first card that was revealed, I think. Ironic, isn't it? This is Omega. This is the new Omega Defender. They changed the gender, by the way. Why can't it be a male goblin? Why gotta be a female goblin? Wait, did they change the gender? It's actually really hard to see. Uh, you know what? That could be a female. Also, I also shouldn't assume this is female. Anywho, Omega Defender. 4 mana 2 6 taunt battle cry. If you have 10 mana crystals, gain plus 10 attack. Why did they change the art? It's just so no confusion about mech and non mech. A 4 mana 3 6 taunt is good. A 4 mana 10 6 taunt. Would you play this in Druid? 12 6 taunt. I always say 10 6 taunt. It's 12 6 taunt. Hmm. I don't know. Like when you think about it, would you want to play a four mana ten six twelve six with taunt? You're like, yeah, a four mana ten a four mana twelve six with taunt seems really good. But even as a four mana two six taunt, it's not the worst card ever. Some would even argue that's average stats for four mana two six taunt. Hmm. It's a stegadon with an upside. Stegadon is unplayable, by the way. I actually don't know. I I lean towards not good enough. The only deck that could possibly run this is Ramp Druid, because they're not playing this on turn ten. They're playing this on turn. Four. Except when other classes play this on turn four, it's two six. When Druid plays this on a turn four, it's a twelve six. Does the battle cry work with Shadow Walk? Yes, it does. But you can't really gain the benefit off it. How often does your opponent leave up a Shadow Walk, right? Also, it's bad in Oaken Summons. I just did another big point. Weaponized Pinata based on the Fortnite Llama. Death Rattle. Add a random legendary weapon minion to your hand. Crap. Fun RNG, but crap overall. Star Aligner. You play Doomsayer, and then you play Doomsayer, and then you play Star. You innovate Star Aligner. Uh, uh, the dream. Tell us what about Kelosath and Star Aligner with Shadow Walk. 
Oh, so you play Kill Assassin first. You have a 7 7 Shadow Walk. You play Serenite. So your Shadow Walk summons. <laughs> your Shadow Walk summons a 7 7. And then summons another 7 7. And then start a line of Battle Cry triggers. And it goes off because you got three Shadow Walks on the board. And then you bounce it all back. Get that man a Nobel Prize. But once it goes back to your hand, it's a 6-6 six, six, and your combo is dead. Toast, you only need two other 7 HP minions because start a line and include itself. I'm talking about Shutter Walk Battle Cry with Star Aligner, sir. All right, Star Aligner can't include itself because it ain't on the board yet. <laughs> um, augmented Alec. Three mana, three four. Whenever you shuffle a card into a deck, shuffle in an extra copy. Love the design. Love the stat line. Perfect stat line. Perfect stat line. Three mana, three fours are great. Abilities are. Let me go ahead and check out disguisetoast.com because it has a list of shuffle synergy. Man, whoever is running this website is a goddamn genius. Look at this. Neutral minion with augmented Alex synergy. I just click on this and I see every card. That has shuffle synergy. Disguisetoast.com, you are the best Hearthstone website in the world. So Astro Tiger, Raptor Hatchling, Dire Frenzy. I like it. I like it. You can even Dire Frenzy the elephant. So you get six, six sevens into your deck. That costs three mana. Three mana, six sevens. Because remember, elephant, beast. <laughs> Deck of Wonder. Double up on the scrolls for meme. Psychic Scream. Screaming some really bad cards twice. Wait, does this work with Psychic Scream? It's, is it whenever? Whenever you shuffle, not after you shuffle. Yeah, it should work, right? There's one more thing to test, I guess. Okay, Archbishop Benedictus for when you really don't want to fatigue. Pogo Hopper. Wait, why is Pogo Hopper here? Ah, I guess it's an indirect synergy. Academic Espionage, of course, is nice when you have one cost card. King's Bane. You know. Why double the chances of you drawing your win condition? An extra King's Bane. Felderai Strider, just a straight up good combo. Very generic. Turn 3 Elephant, turn 4 Strider. Dead Man's Hand. Prolong the Fatigue Game. Dinehorn Hatchling, not too bad, an extra 6-9. The Darkness, double the odds of getting that good Darkness. Darknesses, Darknesses. Elise, uh, Baleful Banker, and Sea Formium Bomber, a new card. Shuffle a bomb into your opponent's deck, expose for 5 damage. Also, um, it's not on here, but it'll also work with Carnassa, Quest Hunter. Where's Weasel Tunneler? We don't count wild cards, chat. And Labracuda. Okay, I'm missing a few cards. Maybe this website's not the best in the world. We're still working on kinks. They just revealed all the new cards today. All right, chat. Just give me, give me, give me a few hours to work out the kinks. God, so demanding.
Boop, 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 boop. You know what? This is a very mid off the line card. Emp operative. Five mana, three, three battle card, destroy a mech. Why does all my water taste weird? Something wrong with my taste bud? It's so strange. Uh, Emp operative. You know, unlike crabs like Hungry Crab and Golaka Crab, this is way below average stat. A Golaka is a 2-3, and a Hungry Crab is 1-2 for 1 mana. So they have vanilla status with an upside. If their upside triggers, it goes from vanilla stat to overstat, and your opponent loses a minion. Whereas EMP Operative, it's below, it's understated. It's a 3-3, three, three, and it doesn't gain anything from destroying a mech. So it doesn't swing the game. As hard as the crab boys. So I think it's bad. Like think about the best way to think about this is like a Vile Spine Slayer. <clears throat> is Vile Spine Slayer a good card? Yes. It's a great card. But a Vile Spine Slayer is very targeted. And even when it does get pulled off, it's not like, oh my god. I lose the game. Whereas if your early game pirate gets Golaka Crab, it's like, oh my god, this is probably gonna lose the game. This is a Vile Mind Slayer, but only targets mech. And I don't think mech will be popular enough, and I don't know if there'll be big enough mechs. And even if you do manage to hit a mech, is it gonna win you the game? Probably not. So it will be OP day one. Yes. Day one when everyone's trying to have fun and playing their cool janky mech deck. It's like with Dr. Boom, you run this card. It's like they try to have fun. Bam. EMP. 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 After a couple of days, no one's going to play mech decks anymore. On day one, who here is just going to jam Druid? Huh? Or Odd Paladin? Which one of you? C Forium Bomber 555 five, Shuffle a bomb to your opponent's deck when drawn and explode for five damage. Neat. Inconsistent, but neat. Crystallizer, one mana one three. Deal five damage to your hero, gain five armor. It's a. I like this card. Like the fl the design is very cool. It's a straight up Alex Straza counter. Um. I don't know if it's worth the one mana one three. Good for Warlock, kinda to activate the Spellstone, but you need the Spellstone in hand. Warrior to activate their shield slam. But at the end of the day, it is just a one mana one three. Right. If you're playing a one mana one three, you need to want to play a one mana one three. It could be good in Zulok to like hurt yourself and then follow up heal. It's good with the um, the new demon, the three mana one five demon. Tells why is this good against Alex Raza? Oh, always make Alex Raza less efficient. Or uh, it's always it always makes Alex Raza less efficient when used negatively, and more efficient when it's used positively. For example, if you have six health and you play this, you go to one health. And five armor, and you Alex Raza yourself, you gain fourteen health. 
But if you're at 30 health and you play Crystallizer, you go to 25 health, 5 armor. And if someone offensively Alex draws you, you still have 20 effective health compared to 15 effective health. Which is why Crystallizer makes Alex Draza either better when it's positive or worse when it's negative. Battle Rage Synergy, yeah, that's true, true, true. Uh, I don't think there's enough um, synergy to make Crystallizer good besides Zulok. I get that it enables Shield Slam, but you have to play a 1 mana 1-3. One, That's not very good. What about Shadow Walk? <laughs> I mean... No. Druid Spell still. Oh, right. That's true, too. But still, is it good enough? You need the Spell still in the hand. <laughs> nah. Tells, isn't Dyrmo good? Dyrmo is only run in aggro decks. If normal slow decks, control decks were running dire mode, I could argue with you. Like, you can make a statement for the reason to play this card. But dire mode right now is only ran in aggro decks. And it's only for the stat line. Is it better than dire mode? Yeah, I would say it's better than dire mode. I would run this over dire mode. But I wouldn't run this. For no reason. Tell us it activates the four mana seven seven. Yes, 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 yes. Chat, 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 chat. It activates a lot of spells though. It activates a lot of synergy. Shield slam. But heal paladin. Or like heal zoo. I just don't think it's worth the one mana one three. Besides Zulok. I think Zulok will have enough. If they start running hooked reaver. Maybe they actually start running Spellstone too. They have the new demon. Heal do for Happy Ghoul. Uh, but I would say there's no other synergy that's really worth it. But that's just like my opinion, man. Hello, man, sir. Five mana, three, three. After your opponent plays a minion, summon a one, one copy of it. Just gonna pop it right here. What's with Blizzard and epics and bad effects? Loot Specimen. <laughs> 5 mass 6 6 deals 6 damage randomly split between all other friendly minions. Mm, aside from Warrior with Acolyte, Rotface, Armorsmith, the new 1 3. This is garbage in almost every other class. Only in Warrior does it have a chance to be somewhat decent. Or egg synergy, that's true. Hmm, five mana six six activate eggs. Hmm. This isn't as bad as it looks. Even if there's nothing on board, you're dropping a five mana six six. Hmm. Hmm. It's not as bad as I initially thought. You don't mind a 5 mana 6 6. It's overstated. You don't mind it in Warrior because you probably have something set up. You don't mind it in Death Rattle decks with eggs or Goblin Bomb. But 
playing it as just a five mana six six, I would say is the worst thing you can do, which isn't terrible. You should try and synergize this somehow though with eggs. You know what? Oh, uh, but then we have stuff like Mossy Horror. This is way better than Mossy Horror in terms of stats though. Because this is playable as a standalone. Hmm. Giggling Inventor, we talked about this. Very straightforward, just really good. Four out of five. Love it. Love Giggling Inventor. Very defensive. Mechanical Whelps. 6 mana 2-2, two, two, summon a 7-7 seven, seven mechanical dragon. That's a mech. Meh. Yeah. Too expensive. Too backloaded on the benefit. Missile launcher. There is some synergy, especially with Hunter. Because of... Um, your 8 mana twisting nether here. Your 8 mana 2 card 6-6 six, six, twisting nether every single turn. Not a bad combo. Destroys every single other characters every turn. But a bit of a dream, bit of a meme. Replicating Menace, 4 mana 3 1 Magnetic, that's right, some 3 1 1 Microbots. So stat line, it's a 4 mana 6 4. This would make your uh, Goblin Bombs really nice. Right now, Hunters have quite a few ways to generate uh, Goblin Bombs, and Replicating Menace is a great way to make those goblin bombs threatening and do something. Because it becomes a 3 mana, I mean a 4 mana, 3, 3. Yes, Chad, he has boobs. Alright, nothing wrong with boobs on a mech. The best thing about mechs is that they don't have a legal age. <laughs> 6 mana, 3, 4. Arcane Dynamo. Battlecry. Discover a spell that costs 5 or more. So in Shaman, this has a really high chance to hit Volcano, Spellstone, and Bloodlust. FBI this man right here. <laughs> Um, and mage you can hit, flame strike, blizzard, dragon fury. Very expensive though. You're paying three mana to discover a card, an expensive card. Too expensive. Galvanizer. Oops, way too big. Two mana one two battle cry. Reduce the cost of mechs in your hand by one. It does enable the mechatune combo. 
but it's a little too weak stat line for my taste. I'll put this here. The only reason why it's not in the dumpster is because it enables Mechatum. Six mana, five one. Spark drill, rush, death rattle. Add two one one sparks with rush to your hand. I'm guessing spark is uh, one cost. The art is so cute though. Look at him. Look at this little guy trying to pilot a giant mech suit. You're not supposed to pilot a giant mech suit. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Not too bad with that shaman legendary. It turns those one ones into um, a random Lego, right? Tells I highly doubt your rating for some of these cards. All right, chat. I don't want to brag, but let me remind you, I was the one that said Ultima Infestation was gonna be a good card. Okay, so not to brag, but I'm something of an expert when it comes to card reviews. Alright, this card is bad. Out of Sparks Elemento, yes. Unpowered Mauler, 2 mana, 2 4. Can only attack if you cast a spell this turn. Even for a 2 mana, 2 4. Without the restriction, I'm not in love with this. Why not just make it a 2 mana 3 4? Yeah, 2 mana 2 4 feels weak. Yeah, no. Spark Engine, haven't seen this one either. Two mana, two one. Add a one one spark with rush to your hand. Huh, lots of spark mechanic. So much sparks. Why are none of these uh, shaman cards? I feel like they want to give shaman more cards. Like all these spark synergy, but they didn't have room, so they just put in neutrals. Are sparks mech? I think they're elementals. Hmm, that is a lot of spark. Much more than I thought there was gonna be. Maybe rush token shaman might be a thing. So the spark will work with Toxmonger. Yep, it will work with Toxmonger. All right, let's go through all the comments. I'm just going to go through the interesting comments and ignore the crap comments. <laughs> Skaterbot. It was very funny when I saw it. He was a Skaterbot. She said, see you later, bot. He wasn't good enough for her. Turn any mech into a rush mech for one mana one one. One mana spell. Give a mech rush and give it plus one plus one. He was a fan of bot. She said see you later, bot. <laughs> oh, that song's gonna be stuck in my head every time I see skater bot. Sorry, girl, but you missed out. <laughs> we are more than just good friends. This is crap. Bruh. 
Brainstormer. Three mana, three one. Battle cry gain plus one for each spell in your hand. Now this is a little interesting. If you're a big mage, if you're a big mage and you're playing this on curve, at most, it's a three mana three five. And if you're playing this late game, it's not gonna affect the board strong enough. Nah, I don't like it. Might as well play Twilight Drake, someone said, and I agree. Bulldozer. I I'm it's a bad card and it's very plain, but I like the pun. It's a bulldozer and it's in the shape of a bull. I appreciate that. Nice one, Blizzard. Close scale chemist. Okay, you know why I'm looking at these cards? The crap. Ooh, this one. Damage Stegotron. Six mana five twelve. Battle cry deals six damage to this minion. So it's a six mana five six with taunt. If we can pull it out somehow, it doesn't take damage. Great to res. Great synergy with Shadowwalk. Kangor synergy. Hmm. Boom ship synergy. It's got some potential. I'll put it as a three. Reminds me of Witchwood Grizzly a little bit. Cube synergy. White Lady Synergy. Alright, Electro Right. 3 mana, 3, 3. Battle cry. If you're holding a spell that costs 5 or more, gain plus 1, plus 1. 3 mana, 4, 4. I don't think it's good enough. You can already technically play 3 mana, 4, 4s in the Polar Bear guy. Is there any aggressive deck that would run big spells? Spiteful Druid, but you already drew an ultimate infestation. Nah, that's crap. Polar Bear, uh, Heimdall Rider. Frost Rider. Hunter Spellstone. Ooh, yeah, not too bad. But you can just summon Misha, right? And you mess up your Rock Dalar and your To My Side if you run those. 3 mana, 2 2, Death Rattle, deal 4 damage to a random enemy minion. Upgraded Volatile Elemental. Don't think it's that good. Weak body, easy to play around. Ah, this is the 1-1 one, one drop we wanted to see. A 1-1-1 one, one, one Mecharu summon a 1-1 one, one Joey bot. We like 1-1 one, one mechs. This is not too bad. It's not too bad. A 1 mana 2-2 two, two stats overall. It's a possessed villager with mech synergy. And by mech synergy... I specifically mean the perfect curve into card from Hunter, which is Fireworks Tech. So if you turn one Mecharu, your opponent doesn't clear it, you play Fireworks Tech. So you had overall you played a one mana two two and a two mana four three. If we're just talking pure stat line. If your opponent does kill Mecharu though, 
the stat line would be a 1 mana 2-2 two, two, and a 2 mana 3-2. And you don't really want to be playing 2 mana 3-2s. You hate 2 mana 3-2s. That's understated. I like Mecha Roo. Assuming you go first, yes. Yeah. Possessed Villager, Alley Cat, but in one body. Living Roots, but in one body. You can justify it however you want. But I think um, that's a good card. Great to activate the file. Mm, that is true. I don't think you would run this in any deck running the file. Micro Tech Controller, Battlecry, Summon 2, 1 1 Microbots. Yeah, you know what? Piloted Reaper. Uh. 4 mana, 4, 3, summon a random minion from a hand that costs 2 or less. Hey, it's Shredder. But from your hand. So you lose value. You, but the tempo should be the same. I mean, it's worse than Shredder. Unless you have a very specific combo you're planning. Like Mailhouse Mana Storm. Mailhouse Mana Storm, a Doomsayer. <laughs> Um, it's tempo oriented if your opponent kills it. Mm, I don't hate it. Like compared to a shredder, it might feel bad because you're using up a card, but you also guarantee like having more control. There's a downside like when you don't have two drops. The requirements are a bit higher. Is there enough good two drops to pull out? And a deck that will run piloted Reaper. Uh, Zulok, you can pull out a Flame Imp, you can pull out a Homunculus, you can pull out, pull out, pull out. You can pull out Voidwalker. Succubus. You can pull out of Succubus. Mm. You run this in an uh, aggressive deck, so you can make sure you get the death rattle to trigger. Tell us you can pull out Drakkar Defender. Drakkar Defender is three mana. Hmm. Toxicologist. More King's Bane love. I like it. I think King's Bane deck is really unique, and I would love to see more King's Bane support. And I think this plays really well into King's Bane. Man, she this girl is thick, not thick. Mm. Whirly Glider. Oh, I love the art. Oh, she's so happy. She definitely seems too young. And she has a little raccoon in her pouch. Aww, that's so cute. Is there a way to tell the age of goblins? Uh, 2 mana 2 1, summon a 0 2 goblin bomb. Goblin bombs? There's like four different ways you can summon goblin bombs. I'm trying to think of a world where Hunter is popular. 
Because Hunter has a lot of ways to make those goblin bombs work. Alright, which one is my Hunter activator? One sec. Hunter? No, that's Druid. Hunter? No, that's Fountain. Hunter? Hunter? I should label these. Yeah, there it is. So as you see, when it comes to goblin bombs, everything on the left synergizes with goblin bombs. You got Cybertech chip. You got, you know, the chip. Why am I not targeting? Okay. Anywho, you got the chip. You got the fireworks tech. You got the bomb bomb. You got the Boom Master Bomb, you got Spider Bomb Magnetic, you can attach to a bomb, you can have a Poisonous Bomb, you can have Bomb Trigger twice, you can have a 3-3 Bomb with Rush. So, there's so much ways to make bombs and activate bombs. But the bombs themselves aren't that strong. Lights out.